There is a lot of talk lately of getting back to normal, but what about that lingering stress that the pandemic caused at school and at home? Here to share tips on how parents, teachers, and students can move forward. Kyle Quadros, head of the Henry Barnard School. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, how are you? Good, thanks so much for, uh, for being with us today. Um, first thing, how were the, uh, the teachers and students adjusting to everything that they had to go through? You know, I, I think that's a great question. I, I think so many people are in such a rush to get back to what we believe was normal without any reflection or consideration as to whether or not that normal was healthy. And I think right now, what many students and staff members are experiencing is that the, the primary purpose of education is not actually just the transmission of knowledge and facts, but it's to support in the development of healthy brains. And it's through that true human connection that we can support in the, the development of healthy brains. And I think so many staff and students are excited to just get back to that genuine human connection and start to construct a new normal of what K 12 education can look like. I'm sure you have uh, have seen people when they first see each other for the first time, the big smile on their face. Everybody is really glad to be around others. So how can parents and children now cope with that lingering stress? Because some people still feel, you know, a little weird about it. Um, and what are the best ways that we can move forward? Yeah, it's, it's interesting because for the, the last year and a half, we've lived in this, this fascinating paradox that what we typically need to support an emotional recovery is paradoxically what would, what caused harm for many of us, which is the physical and, and close contact with people. And so I think right now it's important to understand that while the pandemic caused a lot of stress um, and, and potentially some trauma for many people, it's important to understand that, that some stress is good and it's more important to understand that not everyone experienced a prolonged activation of an overactive stress response system. And so for us to understand coming with a space of empathy and compassion and free of judgment, not only for everyone else, but for ourselves, and really preserve a space to experience your feelings, preserve a space to play, and understand that for many, the reaction during the pandemic is a normal reaction during an abnormal time. And so just accept everyone in their authenticity and provide a space for, for empathy and compassion. Now we heard about this not too long ago. The PCD has also partnered with you folks at the school, and this is big for the upcoming school year. What can parents and students expect to see? You know, there, there's a lot of really great energy right now at Providence Country Day in Henry Barnard. And I think that there are so many passionate, knowledgeable and committed people to really that construction of, of what a new K-12 normal can look like. And so I think what, what people can expect to see is a, a program unlike no other, where there's a, a genuine commitment to an academically robust, rigorous and enriching experience that is married with an unwavering commitment to the emotional and psychological development and well-being that collectively supports an unfolding true human potential for all of our students. And so there's gonna be a lot of cognitively stimulating, but really supportive and enriching programming happening at Henry Barnard and PCD this year. Now, we don't wanna rush the summer by any means. We wanna enjoy the sunshine and be with family and friends, but what can students look forward to when they do get back in the fall? And I would imagine a lot of kids, because of everything they had to deal with, maybe they never experienced a quote unquote normal year. So they may be looking forward to fall rolling around. Yeah, you know, I, I think that what everyone can look forward to is, again, just a, a really powerful and strong human connection. Just finding the space to, to be accepted in your authenticity, finding the space to be cognitively challenged and really some hands-on learning, but, but more importantly, just really connect with one another and find a, a real joy in learning and come together to collectively construct and pioneer what K-12 education can look like post-pandemic, which I would argue is, is going to be better than what we've all experienced before that. And this has been a great opportunity and the partnership really enriches a, a K-12 experience that will be unparalleled throughout Rhode Island. And so I'm excited to have everyone back in buildings. I'm, I'm excited to have everyone come together. And Henry Barnard is currently still accepting applications and um, we want you to be a part of that journey. Parents need to be uh, 
the, the shareholder of their child's education and come to the table with us and construct what, what is going to be a, a really magical and special place. Absolutely, and they may need uh, their, their folks and, and all of you folks there at the school now more than ever when they do get back. But we're not going to rush, rush the summer by any means. We're going to enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> Let's enjoy the sunshine and enjoy the opportunity to play outside because we've missed that. So enjoy that. All right. Thanks so much for being with us. All important tips as we start to move back to our normal routines.